Hey guys, hope you've been well. So I haven't made a video in a little while. I've been busy. Uh, I meant for this next video to be my giveaway video because I actually got more than 25,000 followers in the last week sometime. Um, but there's a lot to give away and I don't have enough time to make that video. And I got a busy weekend this weekend. So I'm planning on doing the giveaway video in about one week. So about one week after this video is posted, stay tuned for uh, the giveaway video. And that video is gonna talk about what's in the giveaway as well as how to enter the giveaway and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. Today I'm gonna be talking about the best EDC knife slash tool in my opinion. And that is obviously gonna be the butterfly knife. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> I found this when I was looking for one of my standard skeletal tools. Um, I think it is the Leatherman Skeletool. Um, and let's just kind of get into it, some of the features and why I think it's such a great little knife slash tool. All right, so here we go. This is the Leatherman Skeletool CX. Uh, technically, this is like some kind of special edition, like the Black Ninja or something. Um, and the only difference on it uh, between this and the Skeletool CX is this fancy Damascus blade. Uh, this is pricey. This is $200. My wife got it for me as a gift. I probably wouldn't have spent that much on it myself. But hey, if you got money to burn and want a fancy carry knife slash tool, I would say go for it. It's a great little thing. So like I said, the only difference between it and the standard CX is the blade. Here is a standard CX. We've got a little rust over there. The standard CX. And the only difference between the Skeletool CX and the regular Skeletool is you get a little, little better steel on your blade and you get kind of these anodized, I think, darker kind of charcoal gray coloring and you get this little carbon fiber insert, which really, you know, I'll tell you, isn't, isn't necessary. It doesn't make a world of difference between the uh, standard Skeletool and the Skeletool CX. So if you're on a little bit of a budget, I would say go with the standard Skeletool all the way. If you have a little more money, uh, the CX is, you know, a little bit nicer. And then if you got money to burn, you can go ahead and get the Damascus one. Um, since I have it, I'll just use it, you know, to be fancy for the review and I'll just get into the features. Um, and I, I guess I want to talk about why I think it's such a great tool. So I'm a guy that does a lot. I do a lot of do-it-yourself. I'll just put it here so it doesn't like go in and out of focus so much. So I, I, I do stuff um, working on my house, working on my chicken coop, working on various home improvement projects, all this stuff. And a lot of times I just like having this on me because, you know, it has pliers, it has screwdrivers, it has knife, it has everything I need for a lot of like smaller mundane tasks. Granted, I have a garage full of other tools that I'll get out uh, when I need them. But a lot of times this is all I need. This paired with a uh, bit kit. Oh, this is my EDC pouch. You've probably, probably seen this before. But, uh, oh, this thing here, I'll show you. This is what I keep in my backpack all the time. Look at all this good stuff that's not getting into focus. Maybe I'll do a review on that later. Um, but one of the big advantages of the Skeletool and some other of the Leatherman products is they're compatible with the Bit Kit. So Bit Kit I have everywhere. You've heard me talk about it probably in other videos. It has these little bits. We'll try to get them in focus here. It's having some trouble. Um, and they're these like thin things that fit into the tool here. And again, I apologize for this focus hunting, but we'll try to make it work. So these bits have two sides on each bit and they go into here and then turns your tool effectively into a screwdriver. So the skeletal tool has storage for one in the bit holder that you actually utilize as well as one in here, if we can get focus. So one other bit in here, in this little storage compartment. It just kind of is a pressure fitting, but I have never had it fall out, so there's no issues with that falling out. And I carry this tool literally every day. Um, so we have the screwdriver functionality, obviously. We have a bottle opener functionality. And this is a great bottle opener, man. This is. This isn't a joke bottle opener like a lot of knives have. This thing works great. Um, I don't use it all the time, I'm not an alcoholic or anything, but I use it enough to know that this thing is great. And it's always nice to have a bottle opener on you. Um, one of the big advantages of this tool is that it has a pocket clip. You know, and it's not the best pocket clip in the world, but it works. Uh, a lot of multi-tools don't have pocket clips. I don't know why more of them don't just toss them on there. But that's like one of the main reasons that I carry the Skeletool 
is because of the pocket clip. Um, I don't like things just deep in my pockets, bouncing around all the time. I like things clipped to my pockets. I like, I like you know, different kind of pants with multiple pockets so I can have things in each pocket, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you, you'll probably hear about that in my pants reviews and all that kind of stuff. But belt clip, one of the main features I like about the Skeletool, it separates it from some other, um, some other multi-tools. The nice thing about it, why this has replaced a carry knife, granted I do carry, you know, I carry a def defensive blade most of the time, something like a... Uh, K-Bar, TDI, or this is discontinued, but an Emerson LeGriff. So I'm not really planning on using this defensively, but you know, you could uh, if you want to keep your, if you're going to keep your carry pretty minimal. So the nice thing about it, like I was trying to get to, <laughs> is it has a pocket clip rides in your pocket. I'll show, try and like make a little video here of it in my pocket. You pull it out, um, and you just have instant access to your knife. You don't have to open up the tool. You don't have to, you know, open the pliers, fling them out, get access to your knife that way. It's just like it carries and is accessible just like a regular pocket knife, just like a regular standard liner lock pocket knife. So it is a little liner lock, has a little indent here to keep the blade secure. Um, it's pretty tight. You can't flip it out. I, I can't anyway. Maybe some crazy people could flip it out just without using their thumb, just, you know, flip it. But I can't. I don't think anybody could. But very easy to open, very easy to manipulate. So great little knife on here. Um, and it is, it's capable of doing everything that I need out of a little EDC knife. You know, I'm not probably going to take this and use it for bushcraft or anything like that. But for, for, for regular EDC tasks, um, it's great. So... The other things that I like to use on it are, I don't use this little carabiner feature that often really, um, but it has a little carabiner type thing built in here. They can latch it to whatever if you're not using the pocket clip for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> the thing that I use on it, it's not technically a tool, but just the end here is thin and rounded and I use it as a screwdriver oftentimes when I don't feel like using the flathead screwdriver. So usually I'll use, leave a Phillips in here in the actual bit for when I need to use a Phillips. And a lot of times I can just use this little thing for flathead functionality. Now things like, let me hold my gun real quick. So things like on my carry gun, it's clear. Um, has a little XC1 that I take off occasionally for whatever, you know, holster fitment or something. And I just use this little guy here and use it like a screwdriver. So it works like a screwdriver for a lot of little tasks. So just pull this out and use it like a little flathead screwdriver and it's great. Um, can use it in, I don't know if I can focus this close here. Let's try to move this back. Come on. So for some things like the front of an XT1 has little screws like this. Sorry, I can't focus this close. I have this thing on a tripod. I don't feel like moving it around. Um, but things like that, a lot of, like a lot of things have, you can use this instead of a flathead screwdriver. So it's kind of like a little built-in flathead screwdriver that has some curvature that works nicely for a lot of things that are designed to be open with coins, designed to be open with uh, shell casings, that kind of stuff. So you see uh, a lot of things in firearms, they're not necessarily flathead screwdriver things, though so you can oftentimes use a flathead screwdriver. They're really more designed to be used with coins. And I find the curvature of this and the size of it works great for all of those devices, little screw caps and stuff that are made to be used with coins or shell casings. So yeah, kind of random, but uh, a feature that I use on the Skeletool tool that is never talked about. And then obviously you have your pliers. Now I got this into like manual focus mode now, so it's not gonna autofocus, I guess. But you have your pliers, and these things, you know, they're nothing to write home about, but they're pretty thin, they can get to things pretty easily, and, you know, there's little wire cutters on here, and I've, I've cut quite a bit, and it's held up. They're not replaceable or anything like that, like some of the nicer, uh, more beefy tools are. But really, for everything that you need, um, it holds up really nice. Now, the pliers also, I grip them like this, you don't want to grip them in this direction because it kind of would be weird in your hands. So this orientation is great, very comfortable here. Um, this is all rounded off, kind of. Sorry, I'm trying to see the focus here. This is rounded off here, so it's a nice little grip here, and it's kind of rounded off back here. So when you're using plier work, they're not spring-loaded or anything. You have to open them manually, but you have a nice little grip here. 
So that's basically it. That's basically the features of the tool. There's not much to it. It's a pretty long video for just a, a little skeletal tool, but um, really great little device. And you guys see me, you guys see me carry it. You see it in my little EDC videos and all that. And I just wanted to make a video about it because I think it's such a great little tool. Um, you know, it doesn't have like 37 tools to tout, but really how, how often do you need an awl or how often do you need a, uh, a can opener on your, on your EDC, just adding bulk to your, to your multi-tool? I don't ever. Now these tools are pretty standard tools that I use all the time. So if you're kind of a do-it-yourself guy and you like to do things around the house or build things, you know, I use my scale tool for building computers, anything like that. So if, if, you're, a, if you're a guy that does things yourself, if you like to do it yourself, um, and you're having to access screwdrivers and stuff a lot, then just have this in your pocket. It, it, it takes the place of so many, so many random little tool sets that I might need to access. And instead of going out to the garage and grabbing them or going to do a drawer and grabbing them, I just pull this right out of my pocket. All right, so that was a skeletal tool. Sorry, you know, it's just rambling like I usually do, but people seem not to mind too much. Um, and that works great for the everyday man. Um, I carry it every day. Actually, I, I like the skeletal tool so much that I got it as a uh, groomsman gifts for for the guys that were in my wedding. So if you're if you have a wedding uh, upcoming, it's a great groomsman gift idea. Um, and they love it. They used to all carry, you know, different knives, bench made, this, that, whatever, and they all carry the skeletal now. Um, I made, I, I converted them all. Um, I have other friends. I have a, I have a buddy up here that's a FBI SWAT guy who, you know, in his spare time is a survivalist prepper type dude. So he's, he's pretty hardcore. He sometimes watches my videos. So if you are, hey, what's up? He carries a skeletal tool, it's a skeletal tool two. It's his favorite thing. Um, so I have a lot of experience with it. I've been carrying it for years, years, probably like five years. I don't know, since maybe it, I don't, I have no idea when it came out actually. So probably not since it first came out, but it's been out for a while and I've carried it. Um, and I've I honestly tried to switch to other tools back and forth um, and always just come back to the skeletal. tool. Sometimes I'll buy a cool new knife and be like, oh, it's so cool, I wanna carry it. And I carry it for a while and I'm just like, ah, nah, I'm going back to the skeletal. tool. So if you haven't tried it, $40, I think, for the cheaper one, and that's all you need. So if you're on a little bit of a budget, um, 40 bucks probably ho hopefully won't break the bank too much. And sorry that I make you guys spend money. If you, if you don't, if you're on a budget and, you know, your wife's going to get mad at you if you spend money, just don't don't buy the skeletal tool. But if you got an extra 40 bucks, buy the skeletal tool. Um, as always, I'll link to it down in the description. Uh, if you buy the skeletal tool, I would definitely recommend getting the bit kit because this have so many things that come in handy all the time if you watch my other videos you know i have these in like my edc bag my get home bag in my car and my range bag all over the place so these are great um just because there's so many they're so light uh take up like no room just like you know pack a gum like pack a trident or something um and that's it again hey thanks for watching thank you for subscribing it means a lot to me uh, I know you guys aren't, don't come to my channel for giveaways or anything, but my giveaway is coming up. So in about a week, uh, also this weekend, I think I'll post this video before the weekend if I have time to put it together. Um, this weekend I'm going to be taking a, a little handgun course down in Colorado Springs with Sage Dynamics. Uh, I don't, I always forget that I'm like a YouTube person, so I don't plan ahead for like interviews or anything like that. But He's an instructor that I really respect, really uh, logical, really science-based, really practical. Um, one of the few instructors I'm like, I could really learn something from, from him. Granted, I could learn something probably from most instructors, but he's one that I feel like uh, is great. Maybe I'll link to his channel or something. He, he does YouTube videos and they're really, they're really informative. But if you guys have questions, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and rope him into like an interview or something. I don't know if he'll be down for that. But if he is, uh, if you have questions for him, stage dynamics, training, Anything like that, let me know and maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to get a couple minutes with him and just ask him those and film it and put a video up of it or something like that. Anyways, hope you've been well. Um, if there's something you like better than the skeletal tool for EDC, let me know about it. Maybe I don't know about it. Maybe it's a sweet new tool that I need. Um, comment in the description and I'll get back to you. All right, take it easy.